Hey guys, welcome to my channel Vintage Games. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Fireproof Lizard quest. Now this quest is really worth doing because there's a really good reward at the end of it. Yeah, What you get is a fire resistance armor, which you can buy from the shop as well. But it's um, you get it free uh, for doing this quest and it's a very easy quest to do. The armor itself costs 700 rupees, so you, you know, you can just get it free for doing this easy quest. So I'm going to show you how to do the quest really easy. Now for anyone that doesn't know, on Breath of the Wild there is an amazing feature using the encyclopedia and your Sheikah sensor. So here's the encyclopedia. Um, to fill up the encyclopedia what you need to do is you need to take pictures of creatures and weapons and all sorts of things and they get added to the encyclopedia. Once they get added to the encyclopedia you can view whatever it is and in this case we're going to look at the lizards so at the moment i've not got a picture of the specific lizard that i'm after looking here that's a high tail lizard that's not the one i'm after but it tells you where you can find it what location what region it gives you all the description of where they are so the first thing what we need to do is we need to find these fireproof lizards in this volcanic area that's not a lizard that's a i don't know what that is it's a bird well, yeah, so what we need to do is we need to find a lizard. Once we find a lizard, we take a picture of it, it gets added to the encyclopedia. Once it gets added to the encyclopedia, you'll have all the information of where it is in the map, you know, what region, whereabouts to look, um, that sort of stuff. It gives you all the details on the encyclopedia. But the best part is we can set the Sheikah sensor to find the fire lizard or any creatures in this game or any specific items even so if you're after a particular material to upgrade your armor you can you can set the Sheikah sensor to let you know where it is exactly in the game right you know how the Sheikah sensor works so that's what we want to do here we want to we want to first take a picture of the lizard once we take a picture of the lizard it gets added to the encyclopedia once it gets added to the encyclopedia we then set the Sheikah sensor to find those lizards so that it, the sensor goes off. It starts beeping and telling you exactly wh where to walk, whereabouts it is. So I'm going to show you how to utilize that here in this video. So I'm still here looking around. Um, that's not a Sheikah sensor, that's a bit of metal, uh, rocks. So you can even take a picture of the rocks. You know, if you want to find some rocks later, you can use the Sheikah sensor to find the rocks. Um, now that I've taken a picture of it, it's going to get added to the encyclopedia. So yeah, that's how the Sheikah sensor works. It's really good. You know, it's default. By default, it's used to find shrines, but you can change that once you've upgraded it to find anything in the game. So um, yeah, I think that we might have some lizards around here somewhere. And uh, as soon as I find one, I'll take a picture of it. And I think I found one. There it is. There you go. Look, it's not moving. There it is. So there we go. Got a picture of it. There you go. And fireproof lizard added. So that's now been added to the encyclopedia. And uh, to capture them, you need to crawl. You need a duck, sorry. And then, because uh, if you run up to it, it'll run away. You don't want that. You know, so you want to sneak up to it. So that's one. We need to get ten of these lizards as part of the quest. So here it is. Here's the picture that I took. <laughs> so once you take a picture of it, you then, as you can see in the bottom right where it says target with sensor, press A. So that's what we want to do here. We want to press target with sensor, and there you go. Now my sensors are on for the, for these these lizards, these fireproof lizards. My sensors going to tell me where they all are. As you can see, there it is. So every time I turn around, you can see the sensor, the green sensor on the bottom keeps indicating where it is. So it kind of tells you which direction to walk in. So if you're walking up, depend the way the sensor works is it starts to beep really loud and the, you, know, you can see the green sensor. Oh, I walked into a fire there. You don't want to do that. I was too busy looking at the uh, sensor and not looking where I'm actually walking. So the way the sensor works is the direction you're going in the sensor you know it 
it gets bigger and bigger and it makes a lot of noise and the the visual on the sensor as you can see now is pretty big that means you that means you're walking in the right direction if you're going in the wrong direction you won't get a beep and it'll just go the other way you'll it won't you know how it works it's like a compass basically so yeah it's it, there's plenty of lizards around here that's why it keeps going off there's lots of lizards around here and we need 10 for the, for the side quest so i think i've i don't know how many i've got already but i've got quite a few already thanks to this little technique uh there's one hiding under a rock so yeah it's a really good feature it's probably one of the best features in this game and i, I don't know why other games don't use this feature it's amazing and that's one of the reasons why i love this game it's, it's so good like you don't need to go on the internet to find well, I know you would if you are on the internet right now, but in general, you know, you don't really need to, you know, Google where are these lizards, you know, to find this, these lizards would be, you know, not easy, difficult, but thanks to the feature like this, you know, it's, it's actually quite fun. I enjoyed doing this quest. So yeah, um, let me know in the comment section if you found this useful. Um, I'm just going to find them all and then then complete the quest. Now I could fast forward all this but I thought I'd just show you how it works you know and uh, yeah once I've got all 10 uh, I'm gonna go over to that to the merchant over there he's the one who offers the quest he uh, you know he asks you to find these 10 lizards and in return he gives you the heat resistance armor which you need in this area because this area is too hot the reason Link's not burning up right now is because I've got a, um, an Alexia on so here he is he's got his heat helmet on and here he is he's asking for uh, the fireproof lizards I've not accepted the quest yet at this point he's saying he wants 10 of them I've already got all the 10 now as, as I've just shown you so you just accept the quest There you go, now he's giving you the quest, now you just chat to him again and give him the 10 lizards. And then he gives you the flame breaker armor. And this armor is um, very handy, you need it in this area because it's too hot. The reason Link's not burning up, as I mentioned before, is because uh, I've got some fire resistance Alexia on. Um, but eventually that wears off, you know, it has a time limit. So that's why you need these heat resistance armor with the armor you're unlimited you can you know the heat won't touch you so you need it in hot areas basically oh yeah and so there's one last thing i should mention so if you want to change the sheikah sensor to go back to finding shrines rather than lizards or anything else you basically just open up the menu sorry the map here we go open up the map and then at the bottom where it says press Y, you just press Y on the map and then uh, and then it will give you the option to change from fireproof lizards to shrine. Or, or you can just turn it off if you don't if you don't want it on. So yeah. That's it.